Hi folks, I have one of these 40 volt packs in one of my previous videos I showed it in its complete form but this pack here <clears throat> actually it's the same pack um, I noticed that it wasn't performing quite right so I furtherly investigated it and I realized that eight of these batteries are reading zero volts so what this is basically the BMS for it is a uh, 12s 8p the 8p means that there's eight of these cells that are parallel together and then 12 of those eight cells series together and that's where the 40 volt is coming from so one of them eight paralleled groups are dead no good and it's here's one group of eight and then there's another group of eight and it's this group of eight here that's reading zero volts so i'm not sure what happened why it's like that but i'm going to attempt to change those eight looks like it's going to be quite a moment quite a fix quite a challenge but I'm going to attempt it. I'm not going to give an illustrated video on how I do it. But when I'm finished it, I will bring it back into the video camera lens and show everybody basically what I've done to change it. So you'll see the soldering joints and, you know, the joint where I made it and kind of how I did it. I imagine it's not going to be nice and neat and pretty like it is here imagine it's going to have some what i'm thinking on and how i'm thinking of approaching this it'll be a little bit more a different look than you're seeing now so i'm going to do that and i will make that video again and show you the results well there we have it you can see the dis the color difference of the cells changed them out it was pretty difficult definitely time consuming not sure if it was worth it or not but i did it anyway you can see where i joined them back together with some little pieces of nickel soldered them back in place the underside i can't show you because i put the plastic piece this piece here to give it some strength and support it so now basically I'm just going to put this other piece of plastic cover on like so and put the control board back on like so and screw it back together and I have to yet discharge these ones that i put in to equal them to the rest of them right now they're higher in charge than these ones so i'm going to discharge this group of eight to bring them to the same voltage as the older ones that were already in there well these are old ones too it's just that they went through a separate charge and a separate charger compared to these have not so to keep them all balanced and equal that's what I will do. Discharge this group of eight. You can see on top where I soldered them. What I did is I drilled out the spot welds with a little tiny drill bit. And I didn't go too deep. Just enough to be able to peel the contact up enough to be able to reattach it. So it worked quite well. It's not the prettiest and neatest job, but it's going to work. But you really have to be careful on these because on on here here's one of the cells that went bad i took the cover off i'm going to actually open it up and find out what's going on with it or to see what's inside it actually but you can see that center portion of the battery and then the outer perimeter is all positive it's all one piece so there's only a basically, let me put this on top of here, I think it's safe enough. 
Yes, it is. So basically, this piece here went on top, like so. And then that was the little green cap that would be on top. Like so. So, soldering it, you know, that's pretty hot stuff, solder and the soldering iron. And that has the potential to melt that little piece of plastic. And this point, this point here and this point here cannot come in contact. That's a dead short. So a lot of carefulness is needed to be taken to make sure that these two pieces here do not come in contact with one another. That's about the trickiest of the whole ordeal of putting this pack back together and making it a pack again. All right, folks, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not, and thank you very much for those that already have.